Hey YouTube, this is Primetime Pokemon. I'm here at the Dorf Dam in Mankato, Minnesota. Saturday, April 20th, 2019 for an Unbroken Bonds pre-release. Very excited to attend this tournament. Haven't opened up any Unbroken Bonds on my channel yet. It is a massive set overall. 214 total cards in the base of the set. So I'll be opening up the pre-release kit and then going to battle with a deck that I build. So enjoy the rest of the video. Alright, so I have my pre-release kit in hand of Unbroken Bonds. We'll get it opened up here and then build the 40 card deck for the tournament. Give you a good look at the pre-release kit before I get it opened up. Take the plastic wrap off. So the plastic wrap is off of the kit. Just push it like so. Open it up. Four different pre-release promos. Volcanion would be the best one in my opinion. It has potential to accelerate energy and can be very good in a tournament like this where the decks are limited. There's the 23 card evolution pack. Sort of the rules for the tournament. And then the four unbroken bonds packs. We'll get these opened up. Best pull that I've seen so far from these kits would be a secret rare, a trainer. First pack, Gardevoir and Sylveon on it. One of several new Tag Team GX with Unbroken Bonds. May 3rd is the official release date of this set. So this is about two weeks early. Four and two would be the card trick. First Unbroken Bonds card in my collection would be Krabby, Riolu, Esper, Porygon, Darumaka, Fire Type Energy, Fairy Charm Ability, Chip Chip Ice Axe, Tyrogue, Reverse Hollow after this, Metapod, which is the Reverse Hollow, this is an uncommon, and then the rare would be a Gengar, rare non hollow. And after I open up these packs, I'll show the 23 card evolution pack. Here is the Tag Team GX I'd like to pull most, Charizard and Reshiram. Few people have been shut out from these pre-release kits. It would not be a surprise if my fate is the same. 0 for 2 so far. Gligar starts this one. Mischievous. Glamiel. Growlithe. Ghastly. Fighting type energy. Devolution Spray Z. Togetic. Koga's Trap, a very good supporter card, maybe banned and expanded. Reverse Solo of a Beast Bringer. This is an uncommon. And the final card would be an Agron. And I know at the Team Up pre release tournament that I went to, was not confident at all in the deck that I built. They didn't even put the cards in sleeves, and I ended up winning the tournament, even though there really is no official winner. Finally, a white colored code card, TCGO, after the Pokemon.com URL. Would love to get any type of full art or secret rare. Even a hollow wouldn't be bad since this is a new set. The pack starts with Coughing, Zubat, Oddish, Sandial, Crab Brawler, Metal Type Energy, Shadot, Laron, Martial Arts Dojo, Reverse Hollow of a Wooper, just a common. And the final card would be a Mars Shadow, and this is a rare hollow. It is very interesting that Shining Legends will be rotated out in August, so bye bye to Mars Shadow Let Loose. Final pack Mel Metal Lucario on the cover artwork design. Last chance for something good, but after the tournament does conclude, I will get three additional packs, I believe, to open up. So one for four, not anything spectacular from this pre-release kit. It does cost $30 to get into this tournament. You get seven packs, so that is a decent deal. Doduo starts the final pack. Poliwag, Spritzy, Lickitung, Venonat, Lightning Type Energy, Power Plant, Charger Bug, Toracat, Reverse Solo of a Coughing, just a common. Any final card would be a Genesect. So I can show the evolution pack now. Volcanion would be the pre release promo, SM179. Should get some good trainer cards for deck support here. The online TCG code card. The Volcanion Black Star promo, Unbroken Bonds, right here at the bottom right of the illustration window. And then the 23 card evolution pack starts with Welder, 
Looker. Lily, a very good supporter card. Pokemon Communication. Litten. Another Litten. And of course, you get the entire line in this kit. Another Litten. Toracat. Toracat. Incineroar. Looks like I'll build. Looks like I'll be building a fire type deck. Red's Challenge. Kahili. Cynthia, one of the best supporter cards out there. A skateboard. Another skateboard. Meow. Goldine. Another Goldine. Another Goldine. Sea King, and then a Sea King. So I'll put together a 40 card deck now, and then come back with that. So here's a look at the 40 card deck that I put together for this pre-release tournament. The main attacking line would be the Litten, Toracat, and Incineroar line. Litten can do major damage, but it does require quite a few energy cards to do that damage. And then Incineroar has a great ability on it, increasing your Pokemon's attacks by 30. Plus, it can also do quite a bit of damage when attacking. Ideally, you want to get Volcanion in the active Pokemon spot to start the game and go second. You can then accelerate lots of energy into play. 16 total fire energy in this deck. I just stuck to mainly fire type Pokemon and then some different Pokemon that required any type of energy to attack. So some colorless Pokemon and then one Psychic in Marshadow. Very happy to have Cynthia and Lily in this deck list. And then Welder will be very useful for this particular deck. It will not only draw cards into your hand, but allow you to accelerate energy into play. As far as competitive-wise, this deck isn't that great, but it is somewhat solid overall, and everyone is pretty much on the same ground for deck building, unless they really pulled something good from their pre-release kit, which I did not. So enjoy the battle portion of this video and the results. All right, so it's a big turnout today at the Dork Den. So there's 12 of us playing, so we're actually having four rounds best of one. Round one, I beat an Incineroar deck, so almost a mirror deck. I used Incineroar on the bench to increase my fire type Pokemon's attacks by 30. I had a misplay, but one turn, my opponent was not able to get an energy attached to one of their Pokemon so that offset the misplay that I had. What I did is I forgot that Incineroar discarded an energy after attacking. I attached a fire energy to a different Pokemon and then wasn't able to attack with Incineroar that turn. But so far, so good. 1-0, even though this is just a fun tournament and really the win-loss record doesn't matter. So on to round two. So round two is concluded. I am 2-0 and oh on the day, actually played the tournament director, he was using a Mel Metal and Lucario deck, so a metal type deck, which was weak to fire type Pokemon like we're in my deck, so it was a pretty easy victory for myself. We actually played a couple more games after that first one, so I actually beat them all three times, which was a little bit exciting, but still, my deck had a big advantage over his, so I should have won, so so far, so good. We'll see what happens in round three. So round three is over. I am 3-0 on the day. Another win for my fire type deck. I played a good friend of mine. Round three won pretty easily. I went second, turn one, so I was able to use Volcanion's attack and accelerate a bunch of energy into play. Then I had enough energy in play that Volcanion could do even more damage with its second attack. So I was just able to accelerate enough energy into play and do major damage every single turn and have all of my Pokemon set up. So it was a pretty easy victory. Let's try to move to 4-0 on the day. All right, so the day is over. I actually took first place, if it actually mattered. I went 4-0, I actually played my fiance. It was just here to have some fun. She did all right in the tournament overall. I built her deck, or helped her build her deck, where she was playing a fire-type deck as well. In the first game that we played, pretty much a perfect start, like a past round where I had Volcanion in the active Pokemon spot. I went second, turn one, and I also had Welder in my hand, so a pretty perfect start. So a pretty easy win when you get that many energy into play. 
but now I have three Team Up booster packs to open up. Not Team Up, I'm already behind there. Unbroken Bonds, so we gotta move on to Unbroken Bonds. Three Unbroken Bonds booster packs to open up, and I did buy a couple of extra pre-release kits. I'll be opening up those this coming week on my channel. And of course, I'll also have lots of Unbroken Bonds giveaways when the set is officially released. All right, so here are the three Unbroken Bonds booster packs that I have to open up. Hoping to end the day with some very good pulls. Haven't pulled much so far from my packs in the pre-release kit. All it takes is that one pack. Won't happen here, green colored code card. I do not believe there are any Prism Star cards in this set. I just quickly looked at the checklist. First pack of the three starts with Ghastly, Tangela, Venonat, Ratata, Goldeen, Fairy Type Energy, Porygon 2, Ultra Forest, Golbat, Reverse Hollow of a Litten, just a common, and the final card would be a Stun Fisk. Easily the best card for my deck today would be that Volcanion, the pre release promo. That was the best one I thought coming into today. 0 for 2 now, another green colored code card. And my fiance, she opened one of her three packs, so I have her packs to open up too. I'll do that at home on camera. A little better lighting and not so much background noise. It has emptied out quite a bit now. Poliwag starts the second pack. Ekans, Drowsy, Pikachu, Grubbin, Water type Energy, Power Plant, Charger Bug, Toracat, Reverse Hollow of a Gold Ad and Uncommon. And the final card would be a Dugong. And before I open up the third pack, a friend of mine came over. He was able to get the two patches from the two pre-release kit cases that came into the shop here. So pretty cool looking. You can iron those onto something or sew them on. Final pack of Unbroken Bonds. Such a great artwork design on this pack. Charizard and Reshiram. Would like to pull that card in the pack. My luck, it'll be another green colored code card. Flip it over. It is a white colored code card. Maybe some last pack magic. We'll see. Four and two. Would like to add an ultra rare into my collection or a secret rare. Final pack starts with Krabby, Riolu, Esper, Porygon, Darumaka, Darkness type energy, Toracat, Energy Spinner, Charger Bug. Reverse Hollow of a Bell Sprout, just a common. Looks like the final card would be a Rare Hollow. It is a Stack Attack, so an Ultra Beast, a Rare Hollow to end this video. So somewhat decent pulls from the Unbroken Bonds packs. Just a couple of Rare Hollow cards. So hopefully in the additional packs that I purchased, I'll have a little bit better pull. So that will conclude my day at the Dork Den here in Mankato, Minnesota. So thanks everyone for watching. As always, before you go, make sure to check out all the links in the description of this video, including links to my blog, Facebook, and Twitter pages. So thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.